So we all know a new Spider-Verse movie is coming in 2022, and we're going to talk about five back issues that you should be looking for. Hey, what's going on? It's Brian and Jack with Simple Man's Comics, where we are helping to amplify your comic book collection through community and integrity. We do a lot of pop culture and comic related videos on this channel, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, we're talking about the Spider-Verse movie coming in 2022. And of course, there are 25 to 30 different characters and key issues we could be talking about. But we have isolated five characters who we think you should be looking for in those back issue bins right now. Now, that, of course, removes Spider-Gwen, Silk, Miles Morales, the obvious ones. So here are five books to look for. Right. We're going to start with Amazing Fantasy number one. And what's so key about this one, Jack? Well, this is, of course, volume two. We're not talking about that vintage Amazing Fantasy, but this is the first appearance of a new Spider-Girl. And we're really looking to isolate the characters that appear in that Spider-Verse story arc that was really popular in Amazing Spider-Man just a few years ago with the birth of both Silk and Spider-Gwen. And there's a good chance that we will see this version of Spider-Girl appear in this film or a future film. She's a Mexican-American character, adds a lot of great diversity to the cast, and is a good take on Spider-Girl. And who doesn't love the black costume? Right. And also, if it doesn't show up in the Spider-Verse movie, you never know. could show up anywhere. There's a lot of Spider-Man cartoons out there. Some great cartoons that were on Disney XD, Disney Channel, and now we have a new streaming service with Disney+. Plus. And then coming in at number four, we got Amazing Spider-Man number 700. This kicked off that whole Superior Spider-Man story arc, right, Jack? Right, and that was one of those story arcs that really ignited the Spider-Man market. And this is also a very weird and controversial first appearance because you mentioned Amazing Spider-Man 700, which had a high print run, but it started to really creep up in value as that has become the market leader for the first appearance of Superior Spider-Man. But there is controversy surrounding this appearance. There are two other books that may be worth chasing and that are also often called the first appearance. We have Avenging Spider-Man 15.1, as well as Daredevil 21. In this, you get kind of a split. You get the market, which is decided on Amazing Spider-Man 700, as well as the writer saying another book is the first appearance, as well as the publishing date saying that another book is the first appearance. So this is one of those messes comics politics gets involved. All three books have solid value and are probably worth chasing if you're a believer that Superior Spider-Man is going to show up in the Spider-Verse in 2022. But either way... I would say at the very least, Amazing Spider-Man 700 is worth chasing, and this character is probably going to end up on the big screen at some point. Right, no doubt, Amazing Spider-Man 700, milestone issue. It's also key to point out, there's a lot of different variants out there for it, just for Marvel alone. Then coming in at number three, we get Web of Spider-Man number 119. Now, what's so great about this one, Jack? Well, this is kind of a classic 90s key issue. This is the first appearance of Kane. And Kane had his moment where he was kind of a popular character. But there's been speculation surrounding, again, this Spider-Verse 2022 movie that we may see Kane. And there's some solid facts to back it up. I brought up that Spider-Verse story arc that really kicked off this whole Spider-Verse culture. And Kane was a prominent member of that. So he first appears in the web of Spider-Man 119. Great Venom cover. There's a newsstand version to be on the lookout for as that one tends to get a premium. But good key issue, always been a key issue. It's kind of on the downswing. And if you can get one for 5 to $10, especially in high grade, it's worth grabbing. And at number two, we're talking about Spider-Man number 10. I like this issue, but not only that, we always talk about how cosplay is a big barometer for how popular a character is. And this super punk Spider-Man, definitely seeing a lot of cosplay out there right now. Exactly. And this is the story arc, Brian, that I've referenced a couple times already in this video. This is that great Spider-Verse story. Incredible. Really captivated a lot of existing fans. Really brought in a lot of new fans. And this character, while I would never expect this character to play a major role in the 2022 film, or probably any film, the reality is this is a character that connects with people. This is a character you see cosplay. People are big fans of this character. So, issue 10 from that volume four, that's something to be on the lookout for. I really think that that's a first appearance that will continue to rise, but it's also a first appearance that you can find in back issue bins for cover price. 
And even at times, because these issues were really highly printed, you can even find it as low as in those dollar bins. But if you're really looking to maximize your collection, really maybe if you're a speculator and you want to amp up those future profits, I would take a look at that 1 in 25 Gabriel Delato connecting cover variant as those are going to be the market leader. Amazing Spider-Man number 12. Now this one, as soon as you start seeing all those teasers for that new Spider-Verse movie, you saw those flipping, the, the logos that were flashing back and forth, and the people dissected that, picked this one out. But what's so great about this issue? Well, this one, of course, Spider-Man number 12, Amazing Spider-Man number 12, is the first appearance in comic form of this 1970s live-action Japanese television series character known as Supeda Man. Now, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it literally is pronounced, it is literally spelled as I said it. And it's one of those characters where a lot of Americans may not be familiar with. But when Marvel was licensing this character out to anyone and everyone, trying to get exposure in all countries, there was actually a live action Japanese series. And like you mentioned, people were able to dissect that logo, figure out that's who this character was. And Phil Lord, the director of the first movie and the upcoming second movie, has already confirmed that this character is going to appear. Even furthermore, some eagle eye viewers have already noticed an Easter egg in the first movie that dropped a hint of this character coming. So there's a really good shot. This is about as safe a bet as you get with already getting kind of a confirmation. And again, we don't know what role this character is going to play, but we're already seeing these books rise, getting as high as $20. But it's another one where everything I said about number 10, you can apply to number 12. You're looking at a higher print run. These books are out there. They're accessible. You can find them for cover price or less. And absolutely the book you should be chasing if you're looking for the highest valued edition is that Gabriel Delato 125 connecting cover variant. It's funny you mentioned that Japanese Spider-Man. Now, I was born in the late 70s. I'm, that's why I identify as an 80s kid, aging myself here. But I remember as a kid in the 80s seeing those old 70s Japanese Spider-Man shows and remember going, wait a minute. I'm used to Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends cartoon. This is nothing like that. But... We're seeing it come back around for a new generation, and people are getting excited about it, and that's why I love this freaking hobby. So that's five characters, and really seven back issues that you should be on the lookout for that tie directly into that Spider-Verse 2022 upcoming movie that you should be looking for when you're at your LCS, local convention, whether you're hunting online, or even at your local flea market. And of course, this isn't even close to all the characters that are relevant for that upcoming Spider-Verse movie. So make sure you will be on the lookout for future part two, part three. Who knows how far this can go? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to be alerted when we drop new videos in this series. So like Jack said, this doesn't even touch the tip of the iceberg when we're talking about Spider-Verse characters. So there's going to be follow-on content, follow-on back issues that we're going to discuss right on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll always be notified when future content is released. Yeah, state your name. Bibbin dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything. Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get.